This episode of Brains on Games is a preview of a puzzly game with animals. Welcome to Brains on Games. I'm Dr. Brian McDonald, and this episode we are going to preview a game that's coming up on Kickstarter in the coming weeks. It's a game that was sent to me a little while ago by the folks over at Three Nail Games, and it is a game called... Let me see if I can hold the box up here. A game called Camouflage. Now, Camouflage is a game that you can play with between one and seven players. So there is a solo version of the game here in the box. It's a game that plays with kids aged eight and up, and it only takes about five minutes to get through a game. Let's talk a little bit more about Camouflage. Camouflage is a very light game where players are racing to add pieces to a puzzle that keeps changing as they add their cards to it. Each player is going to have a deck of six cards. There are seven decks total in the box. All of the decks have an animal in the middle and animal camouflage patterns around the outside. They're sort of weird colors maybe, but they are the patterns you might see on an animal. If you'd prefer to play with gems instead of animal patterns, the cards are double-sided, so you could flip them all over and play it that way instead. That's a choice that you make at the beginning of the game. In the basic version of the game, the most basic rules, the way that you win is by being the first one to play your final card. You're trying to get all of your cards on the table, and we'll talk about what that looks like. There are some more advanced scoring rules where you get more points if you've got your cards positioned in a certain way. But we focused on the basic one because we wanted to race as fast as we could rather than thinking about where those cards were supposed to go. If you're playing a solo game of camouflage, you're going to be using a puzzle deck. So these cards all have different shapes that you're trying to build from various cards in the game. And it tells you which cards you're going to use, what the final shape is supposed to look like. And if you flip the card over, the back has the answers. I won't spoil any of those here. But at, at Brains on Games, it's all about playing games with your kids. So we didn't really play the solo version. I tried one of the puzzles for a little while, but really I wanted to play this with my son. And if you are playing a multiplayer game of camouflage, you're going to start by taking an unused deck of those cards, and you're going to put three of them in front of you in the middle of the board where everyone can reach. This is the beginning of the puzzle. You are trying to place your cards onto this puzzle so that at least three of these squares on your card overlap and they have to match the cards that are underneath. So if I've got my deck of six and I've shuffled them up and I've drawn three and we're racing to play our six cards as quickly as possible, I'm looking at my deck right now to see if I have it. Okay, so I would put one on here like this and you can see that the three squares match. Now you can match more than three squares, so I could put something in the corner here like this, but in a case like that, I'd have to match all five of these ones that are showing. So that does make things a little bit, well, not a little bit more difficult, a lot more difficult. So once I've played that card, I draw another one so that I've got my hand back up, and then I'm searching for a card with uh, let's see if I can find one. I'm searching for a card. Oh, maybe like, no, that one doesn't quite work. Here, like this. So now I've got another match. Now I've got only, uh, I've got two cards on the table. I've got only four cards left and there are three in my hand. So you're constantly racing. And of course your other, your opponents are going to be playing cards onto the, the puzzle as well. So it's constantly changing. If I'm looking at, okay, oh, I need you know, two orange on the outside and a green in the middle. And by the time I find that in the cards that are in my hand, maybe somebody's already played a card on there and they've changed the pattern somehow or the spaces that are available. So that simultaneous play does make things a little chaotic and crazy. And you might find yourself slowed down by the fact that the puzzle keeps changing. One of the things we did find when we played this game is that as you're racing to place those cards, even as you saw I'm playing it here and I'm not even racing to do it, sometimes it'll knock the cards a little bit out of place. They are kind of slippery. We did sometimes have to call a hands down to make sure everything was still lined up so that we could figure out where the next card was supposed to go. The mechanisms that we're talking about in a game of camouflage, well, there's really two main ones. You've got the matching that you're trying to do and it's a simultaneously played game. There are no turns. You're racing to play your cards as quickly as possible. And that brings us right to the skill that you're practicing when you're playing this game. And it is the ability of visual processing speed is primarily what you're using. You have to quickly look 
at the grid that's on the table which cards are showing you have to quickly figure out from your cards which ones you can put in place and then you have to quickly move to play those it's sort of interesting that one of the the tests that i use when i'm assessing a student's learning is a matching speed test and this is exactly that skill of course it's done in a different way on the test that i use but this game exercises that same ability and that is really it you're racing to play those cards you're exercising that that visual processing speed skill that matching speed skill but what are my final thoughts about this game of camouflage now this is a prototype so things might change a little bit when the game eventually comes out the the components might look a little bit different or the cards might be a bit thicker or bigger or smaller what have you but based on what i've played what we're talking about here is a, a game that is about completing a very quickly evolving puzzle so the pieces keep changing and the pieces you can play keep changing and you're just trying to be the first one to get everything on the board i find those kinds of games really difficult because i've been training myself my entire life to be careful and meticulous and methodical and so i'm not as fast i've worked hard to not go too quickly in the things that i'm doing uh, so uh, it, these games are tough for me but if you are a person who likes those kinds of racing games where you're rushing to be the first one to play something before your opponent can do it and you and you enjoy building puzzles this might be right up your alley because that's exactly what this game is. And that is a quick overview of Camouflage. Thanks so much to the folks over at Three Nail Games for sending this game my way. I will put a link to the Kickstarter campaign in the show notes as soon as I have that link. And if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comments section below the video or you can email me at brian at brainsongames.ca. BrainsOnGames.ca is the website where future episodes will go and the previous ones are up there already. BrainsOnGames is the Twitter handle and the Facebook page and the Instagram feed, so we're all over the place. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to be notified of future ones, you can head on over to YouTube and click that subscribe button. Thanks for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time.